Santa shark, ho, 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 Santa shark. Reindeer sharks, do, 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 reindeer sharks, do, elf sharks, do, 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 elf sharks, do, do, making toys, do, 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 making toys, do, wrap them up, do, 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 wrap them up, do, do, the sleigh, do, 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 load the sleigh, do, 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 load the sleigh, do, 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 load the sleigh. Good morning, Central Crossing, and welcome to Tuesday, and three days till winter break. I'm Paul. And I'm Holly. First up, we want to congratulate our choral department on an amazing concert last night. You all did a fantastic job. So what kind of weather are we going to have? I'm assuming it's going to be cold, right? Well, your assumption is right, Paul. Today, the weather will be cold. We'll have a high of 38 degrees and a low of 25 degrees. With what's 73% humidity? And the wind speed is coming in at 2 miles per hour. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Laura and Thomas. Now that exams are starting, we are in need for a good and healthy lunches. Yeah, that's true. So, Jalen, what are we having? Hello, Central. I'm Jalen. Today for lunch, we will be having Fiesta de Pizza, pasta with meat sauce and garlic bread, with a chicken sandwich with a side of California blend with cheese. That's it for me. Back to you, Anchor. That sounds great. Can't wait until lunch. Next, we want to wish everyone good luck on your semester exams. In most classes, you'll be taking exams during this week. If you're not sure, check with your teachers. And plan to check out brain breaks during the last 25 minutes of your lunch periods every day this week. This will be a time when your counselors will lead you in some relax relaxation activities. Plan to head to the gym during your lunch. By the way, yesterday was our first brain break session. An average anxiety level on a scale of 1 to 5, 1 is very little stress, 5 is stress out, went from 3.22 before the ses session to a 1.66 after. That's amazing. Yeah. Now let's talk about clubs and other meetings. First, we do have a cancellation. Mindfulness will not meet this week, but we encourage you to take advantage of the brain breaks we just spoke of. Wednesday, Comet Crazies get together at 7.30 a.m. in room 225. Also meeting early morning on Wednesday is Battle of the Books at 7.30 in the ERC. Also this Wednesday, Photo Club meets at 3.30 in room 241. Plus on Wednesday, we have the Central Bible Study after school in 234. And then the Renaissance meets this Thursday at 7.30 a.m. in room 209. Friday morning at 7.30, head to the ERC for Keep Calm and Journal On. And then after school on Friday, GSA meets at 3.30 in room 264. They will be having a holiday party with an ugly sweater contest, so come out and meet some new friends and have fun before you leave for winter break. Next up, looking at the comeback from break, the next Literary Magazine Writers Club meeting is January 9th, the first Wednesday after we have returned from break. Miss White and Miss Barnes wish you all happy holidays, and we will see you in the new year. Next up, we have ways you can give back. The Student Council donation tree is in the guidance office through Wednesday. Please donate your new and gently used coats, jackets, men's, scarves, and hats. We, we will be collecting these and bringing them to the homeless shelter to donate to those in need. And then, SAD is sponsoring 10 Acts of Kindness. Here's Kamari with today's kindness tip. Hi, it's Kamari. I'm back for the 10 Days of Kindness. Today, only four days left until Christmas break. Today, you should donate a gently used coat or scarf or mitt in the tree in the guidance office. Thanks, Kamari. Now, let's head over to sports to see what is happening. Good morning, Central. I'm Ali. And I'm Jayana. And we have all your sporting news. First up, we have some result news. The swim team finished second in a five team sprint event last Friday. Congratulations go to swimmers Jacob Archer, Will Adkins, Ashton Keg McGillis, Jenna Parisway, Sarah Rush, Mason Smith, and Madison Stood. Each of these students set new personal records. And also, congratulations go to swimmer Zach Brankick for winning the 50 butterfly. Good job, swim team. Here's what is happening this weekend at Central. Today we have all our boys' comments playing against Canal Winchester at home. With freshmen starting at 4.30 p.m., JV at 6 p.m., and varsity at 7.30 p.m., this is our only home game this week, so you definitely want to come out and support our guys. Also today we have our lady comments playing Canal Winchester at Canal Winchester with JV starting at 6 p.m. and varsity starting at 7.30 p.m. 
And tomorrow we have Our Lady Commons playing against Mifflin at Mifflin High School, with JV starting at 5.30 p.m. and Varsity starting at 7 p.m. On Friday we have freshman JV and Varsity Boys basketball playing at Hilliard Davidson. Freshmen play at 4.30, JV plays at 6, and Varsity plays at 7.30. Also on Friday we have Varsity Boys and Girls Swim Team at Dublin Sayado starting at 6. Lastly on Friday we have JV and Varsity Girls basketball team playing Hilliard Davidson. JV play at 6 and Varsity plays at 7.30. While this weekend on Saturday, Varsity Boys swim team play at 10.30 a.m. against Mount Vernon High School at Kenya College. And here we have your spirit week for these upcoming games. Don't forget that today is Christmas, so wear your ugly Christmas sweaters to the game tonight. Wednesday is a blackout. And Friday is tie-dye. This is a great week to be fans in the stands for both the boys and girls sports. Enjoy it, Central. Once again, good luck to all you, our athletes. Well, that's it from us. Back to you, anchors. Thank you, Jayana and Allie. Next up, we have Jordan and Bailey to talk about the new baby elephant at the Columbus Zoo. Good morning, Central. I'm Jordan. And I'm Bailey. As some of you may have heard, there's a new addition to the Columbus Zoo family. That's right. On Thursday, December 6th at 3.09 a.m., Asian elephant Phoebe gave birth to a beautiful and strong girl. The first one in almost 10 years. The calf joins the herd of the six other Asian elephants at the zoo. While you're out at the zoo lights, make sure you stop by to see if you can get a peek at the new elephant. However, the calf doesn't have a name yet. Similar to Phoebe's other calf, Becco, born in 2009, the zoo is letting the public decide. The top four names are Darcy, Lizzie, Ellie, and Kobe. To vote, you can visit columbuszoo.org slash name the elephant. Voting ends January 3rd, and the name will be announced the following day. Make sure you get your vote in. Well, my vote's Ellie. It's so cute. Well, I like Kobe. It's more <laughs> unique. You guys decide what the name you like is, and remember to vote, too. The zoo lights run all the way to January 6th. Well, that's it from us. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, guys. I will be sure to vote for Ellie. And just a reminder for seniors. Look at this photograph Every time I do it makes me laugh How oh, did our eyes get so red? And what does Aunt Joey said? This is where I grew up I think the president would have fixed it up I never knew he ever went without The second floor is hot for sneaking out And this is where I went so your senior pictures are due to Ms. Fuller by Friday. Check the list outside of your English teacher's room to make certain yours has been received and to double check the spelling of your name for the yearbook. Baby pictures and senior quotes will be collected in the spring. This deadline is only for your senior picture. If you have any questions, see Ms. Fuller in 225. Well, that's it for today. Countdown to winter break, only three more days. See you tomorrow, Central.